Good morning, Bande Matram. Welcome all of you. The morning's discussion will be on the spirit's greatness is our timeless source. This is the topic of discussion for this great morning. And within this uh, um, hill environment, we are going to have a brief discussion on this topic. The spirit's greatness is our timeless source. It's uh, really, really, we can find chilly morning. The great hills are around us. It is a big surrounding. It is a splendor. Um, actually, you can find the splendor of nature here. Among this, all the among all this greatness, we are going to have the have uh, a brief discussion on the spirit's greatness. Tremendous topic. It will be discussed in the light of Savitri, Sri Aurobindo Savitri. We can find Sri Aurobindo course beautifully. The spirit's greatness is our timeless source and it shall be our crown in endless time. Rhythm Kali, the uh, words have been arranged to describe the truth of the spirit and its greatness. It's the spirit's greatness is our timeless source, timeless source and it, uh, it shall be our crown in endless time. Timeless, uh, timeless source, endless time. Just imagine the arrangement of rhythmic words here. Uh, timeless source and endless crowd, um, uh, time, really. We are going to have a brief discussion here. The spirit's greatness is our timeless source and it shall be our crown in endless time. They can see in the course what is the real problem here, where really we are, why we are not able to see the spirit here inside. Uh, it is well located but actually well present better present but thing is that we our vision has not gone to that of splendor we can't of course see it so in the course our nature's glass shows not our real self that is the problem our nature's gla glass shows not um, our real self that greatness still abides again Ag again so in the course that greatness still abides held back within Still avoids, it is there, it avoids, but actually held back within. Arts doubting future hides our heritage. Nature, art, uh, doubting future, um, because um, nature's glass, so many ways the, we have been uh, actually under the impression that it is hidden or it is missing or it is not seen but thing is that it is very much prominent it is very much present and if we can be um, able to glance at the, this at least if we can be aware some glimpses some hints can be experienced and of course be held but thing is that we are not interested to that way to that vision that format and that aspect also with the light now distant shall grow native here, Sri Aurobindo course clarifies and of course ascertains the light grows distant shall grow native here. Light now distant, we can't see, we feel it is distant, sometimes we guess, sometimes we think, sometimes we can't because of our unawareness, our consciousness has not gone to that aspect, we have not gone, of course, in the, we are not in a, a point to discover it. We are not actually that much interested, even if to some extent we know. Most of the things, most of the times, for most, it is unknown, unavailable thing. But here it is a um, thing that light now, um, distant still grow native here. The strength that visits us, our comrade power, the strength visits us, that is our comrade power. Still then we are not aware, we are not actually in a position to know. The ineffable shall find a secret voice. Ineffable. It can't be expressed, it can't be known, it can't be heard. But the thing is that Sri the course itself find a, a secret voice. The imperishable burns through matter screen. Imperishable. He is, it is a totally imperishable. Things are imperishable, not to be perished. But thing is that uh, it is not being very much clear to our um, uh, obscured uh, imagination. So. Uh, it was um, um, imperishable burns through the matter screen, making this mortal body Godhead's rope. It is the body, it is being under the process of preparation. See this, um, making this mortal body Godhead's rope. 
again sirbindo goes forward and the little bit sings um, sees a vast unknown is around us and within we don't know because our limited human mind already i have quoted limited human mind or reasoning mind you can think so it is very much confined very much closed it, it has got its lacuna it is actually very much confined confined it is very much finite still in the course um, a past unknown is around us and within unknown capital u is around us and within but thing is that we are not able to know not able to see already i have quoted because we don't know that idea is not with us all things are wrapped in a dynamic in the dynamic one wrapped it is covered in the uh, in the dynamic one but actually we are very much conscious we don't know not at all conscious even we can see to some extent because of this yogic um, adventure in part of some not all in part of some some has a glimpse some has of course tried to understand they try they have tried to reach that consciousness but not fully it is the problem it is with all but thing is that we must know the a vast unknown is around us and and, and within it is around us and within outside and inside you can feel that bare vastness unknown all things are wrapped in the dynamic one wrapped it is covered all things are the wrapped in the dynamic one a subtle link of union joins all life not one or two all life it is not seen it is a subtle link mother quotes um, that i have um, caught you in the golden chain i have caught you all in the golden chain that is subtle link so a subtle link of union joins all life thus all creation is a single chain you can't deviate you can't go away you can't move across the limit because everything has been chained in a single link all creation is a single chain we are not left alone in the closed scheme just imagine this is not we can we can't separate in ourselves it is not actual possible we are not left alone in a closed chain this chain here in the course it is a chain closed chain subtle link i am and we are not left alone somebody can claim that uh, i belong to such and such i belong to other dynasty i belong to other religion i belong to other creed sects or something but nothing is like this it is creeds religion that the formats everything has been uh, unconsciously maybe it is created by our self our ego the thing is that it is a subtle link of the spirit nobody can fail it is separate everything everyone is closely tied in one uh, subtle link subtle design so we are not left alone in a closed scheme between a divining um, between a driving of unconscious force and of an innumerable absolute between a driving of inconscient force and an incommensurable incommunicable absolute see in the course then who are really and heart about your our life and the being our life is just for and in a sublime soul range beautiful our life our life is a spur in a sublime soul range it is a spur spur you can know spur in a sublime soul range our being looks beyond the walls of mind because now we are confined subtle suppose uh, uh, your consciousness is getting elevated you are moving in your consciousness and that things will change invariably you will find a lot of changes your in your your uh, while uh, proceeding in this path a lot of change lot of variation a big thing you will find on the way steer in the course our life is a spur in a sublime soul, soul range our being looks beyond the its walls of mind it is uh, now confined narrowed hazed in the walls of mind and uh, our being uh, looks beyond within the walls of mind it was they are of course it is for the many but the thing is that once you gain that consciousness you you will simply be liberated and <clears throat> it communicates with the greater worlds with the greater worlds because we are confined already i have seen when in you know, all your uh, when you are staying suppose you are staying in a uh hot you are in a single room whose the doors and windows are shut even you are not uh, moving towards the rooftop so you feel everything this is the world and everything is here 
and once suppose you are looking uh, beyond opening the doors and windows or going to the top of the roof or suppose you are crossing the fence i mean the walls are around you big walls are around you suppose you cross it you go beyond you will find a greater sun greater realm greater wisdom greater attraction so many ways it will be attractive but uh, then only you will feel that how much narrow and confined i was in the, i have lost almost all my life one age one birth is going to be completed <clears throat> still we don't have any um, uh, anything to do here already we have spoiled it is gained as uh, suppose i had known it suppose something before something earlier things would have changed in my life here here in the course and there it communicates with the greater worlds it is not confined once you go beyond go beyond the thinking mind the worlds of mind then you will find the greater worlds to be communicated you will communicate and uh, you see our life is a spore in a sublime small lens our being looks beyond the worlds of its worlds of mind and it communicates with greater worlds there are brighter arts and wider heavens than than ours that's what i told already we have discussed that one right now because you know world is very varied it is it has got veritable heritage you can find huge sounds and it has great beauty but as long as we are confined in a single doorless and windowless screen that time till that uh, point of time we feel everything is confined and we are confined here but once you leave behind beyond you come now move up then things will change um, in a very great way there are brighter arts and wider heavens than ours we feel this heaven this earth is of sufficient for us that's what we are not in a mood of adventure we don't adventure at all once we uh, move forward we cross the fence we are moving the we are crossing the levels of mind then we will find a big way <coughs> there are realms where beings um, broods in its own depths there are realms many realms in one realm only we are confined but there are many realms who are being broods in its own depths it is um, feels in its immense dynamic core its nameless unformed unborn potencies just imagine we feel we are great we are strong we have potency but how much confined you see it's a nameless can't be named the proper on on formed not at form and unborn potencies cry for expression in the unsaved past unsaved past but it is unsaved it is crying for expression it is trying to come out but thing is that who will know it so as long as you move as far as you fly you will find the splendor of the sky still on remained hidden till now when you move up when you touch that glam the splendor you will find um, looking back and the thinking at that point of time you will find how con- um, how much confined i was how much how much how much limited i was how much how much finite i was once that is crossed you, you have uh, looked you can find so many things are unformed nameless unborn potencies cry out for expression in the unsaved past just imagine how the splendorous uh, things are awaiting still ineffable beyond ignorance and its death <coughs> ineffable ineffable can't be expressed beyond ignorance and death the images of its everlasting truth looks out from a chamber of its self wrapped soul looks out from a chamber of its self wrapped soul so it looks out it wants to go further because it is not confined at least to this point nobody very limited people have come then most of the people that don't know that it is existing at all here the image images of it, its everlasting truth looks out from a chamber of its self wrapped soul as if to its own inner witness gaze the spirit holds up its mirrored self and works spirit holds up its mirrored self and works the power and the passion of its timeless heart spirit holds back the its mirrored self and works the power and the passion of its timeless heart the figure of its formless in ecstasy the grandiors of its multitudinous thought might it is there spirits works and spirits try, tries to come out um, it is actually it is very much clear you can find you can see 
it is not hidden so in the course here the spirit holds up its mirrored self spirit holds up its mirrored self and works the power and passion of its timeless heart power and passion of its timeless heart not confined how great how vast it is the figures of its formless ecstasy the grandeur of its multitudinous might then comes this mystic substance of our souls into the prodigy of our nature's birth then only it is visible then comes the mystic substance of our souls into the prodigy of our nature's birth there is the unfallen height of all we are there there is the unfallen height unfallen height not fallen it is from there you have to rise up no chance of falling unfallen height of all we are and the deathless fount of all we hope to be we hope to be not all we these are confined um, these are little bit conscious for them actually it is deathless fount of all we hope to be on every plane the heretic power the we, there is a chance we can go forward any anyway uh, little bit forward we can find something like um, see in the course the spirit is not hampered by its frame the spirit is not hampered by frame by its frame and hearts by sharp division seized and rent and the delight and the beauty are inhabitants and love and sweetness are the law of life you can enjoy you can see there is a great great thing you can see the spirit is not hampered by its frame hearts by its sharp division seized and rent it is not there then what is there you can find there well delight and the beauty are its inhabitants and the love and the sweetness are the law of life love and the sweetness are the law of life just imagine for that we have to owe it everything is done real many realms many splendors many subtle link the spirit's greatness our potencies unborn comes near the strength um, of course uh, hidden the ineffable finds peace we are um, facing we are finding the we, we behold the great realms great splendors everything everything relates when uh, we are living in the spirit that's what we are in the course trying to try to explain the spirit's greatness is our timeless source and it shall be our crown in endless time with the spirit we have to go with that we have to venture and we have to find and with the mind everything is confined and so there is a very little chance of proceeding forward and life will end here the adventure will cease because not at started what will see what will be the point of seizure so it the cessation is not a crime it is not a criteria but the criteria is that we know this is what even if something we glimpse we guess that is not enough thing is that we have to come forward and we have to see the things in our own vision and we have to plan out but nothing with us will leave to the vision of the spirit only it is possible vande matram